Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. It's good to see you all. Well, that's a lie. I can't see any of you. But what I can see on my screen right here is Chrome OS Flex running on my 2011 MacBook Air. And today we're going to be testing out a cool feature uh, that's on Chrome OS Flex and also regular Chrome OS that you can use if you have an Android phone called Phone Hub. And what Phone Hub is, if you look in the little corner of your Chrome, you have this icon. And if you haven't set it up yet, uh, clicking on it will give you a uh, little pop-up window that asks you to set up the phone hub. And basically setting it up just involves having your phone sitting near your laptop. And it does the rest. And uh, it gives you these cool features. First of all, there's the recent tabs that you've looked at on your phone. So if you're traveling and you're looking up stuff on Chrome and you want to pick up where you left off, you just click on it. Oh, opened up on the wrong screen, of course. And... Uh, it brought to the last thing I was doing, which is testing a uh, PWA that I made called the AGBEMU.com. You can check it out. It's an online Game Boy emulator. That's a plug for my own thing there. I apologize for that. But that's a cool thing you can do. Another thing you can do on the phone hub is you can run off your phone's internet. So I can say enable hotspot. I don't know why I do that. My uh, home internet's a lot faster than my phone. But if I want to, I can do that. You have to go to your, let's see, set up the connection on your phone. I think I have to uh, approve. Yeah, so continue. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I got this error on my phone. Of course, because I'm testing it, couldn't provide Wi-Fi connection. And I think the reason is, through my carrier, I'm a... Uh, actually set up to be using this iPhone. I just switched my SIM card into my Android for the purpose of this video. I think normally if you were using an Android full time it would work for you. Uh, but the cool thing about it <laughs> is um, if you're on the road maybe uh, you have your wife driving for you and you're sitting in the passenger seat you can get onto your uh, phone internet using your Chromebook or your Chrome OS Flex. Actually when I travel I use my MacBook and uh, the iPhone has a similar feature, and it's very handy. I can uh, work while we're traveling. Anyway, as you can see, you can uh, control your phone, silencing it and whatnot. I guess that's handy. But another good thing is locate phone. If you click on this button, look what your phone starts doing. Right. So if you're one of those people that leaves your phone in the couch or something and you can't find it, you can uh, go ahead and do that from here. And then finally, if you look in the settings, which also opened on the wrong screen for me, uh, there's an option on here, Smart Lock, where apparently you can unlock your uh, Chrome device with your phone. And I couldn't get it to work, to be honest with you guys. It says that, um, looking at the requirements for it, you have to have lock set up on your phone. And I think that's the reason why I couldn't get it to work. I hate having a password on my phone, especially this Android phone. is I mostly use it for app development, and I don't want to have to unlock it every time I'm debugging. So, um, anyway, if you guys have been able to unlock your Chromebook using your Android phone. I'd sure love to know about it in the comments. I have no reason to believe it doesn't work, but uh, it didn't, I, I couldn't get it working. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it though. So yeah, those are the features of uh, the uh, phone hub. Another good thing that you can do, I believe, if I open the uh, files app on this phone, if I can find it, you can uh, pretty easily transfer a, a file from your phone to your Chrome and probably the other way to let me just uh, test that out here let's uh, I'm on my files app um, gosh how do I do this well let me try it the other way around here I apologize you guys I'm, I have to admit that I uh, generally I'm using an iPhone so I'm not <laughs> always up on uh, this but let me go here and right click on a file and go to share nearby share and I think I can send it to my phone here we go Brandon's phone okay I click on next it's looking for me and I got this notification on my phone that there's a file coming. I say accept. And there we go. Okay. And I think there's a way to do it the other way. 
but I'm not going to waste your time sitting here looking for it. Um, oh, I guess it's easy. You uh, In the Files app, you go to the file, file you want, long press on it, and then you say Share. And then I can say Nearby. And with any luck, I'll get a notice here on my laptop, on my Chromebook. Here we go. Accept. Now I received the file. It's in my folder here. There it is. It was a Super Mario Land ROM legally obtained for the aforementioned Game Boy emulator that I showed you guys. So that's some of the cool stuff you can do to connect your uh, Android phone and your Chromebook. And there is one more thing I want to show you, the Messages app. <clears throat> this is something I wish worked with an iPhone. Uh, the Google Messages app, you say continue and then it'll give you a QR code. And what you do is you open Google Messages on your Android phone and you scan that QR code. And since I don't have messages set up on this phone because I've been using the iPhone, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but I have tested this before and it works great. You uh, scan that and it gives you all your messages on your computer. You can do your texting from your computer. It's super handy, it's awesome. And this uh, Google Messages also works on Windows and Mac and Linux. You just go to, I think it's like messages.google.com. This is a web app. Yeah, messages.google.com. And if you have an Android, you get this. You scan that QR code, and you can do all your texting from your computer. And if you're like me and you work at a computer all day, that is awesome, and it's super handy. So there we go. Now I think that's all I'm going to talk about for the uh, Android and Chrome OS Flex integration. I hope you learned something. But maybe you know something cool that you can do with Android and Chrome OS that I don't. If that's the case, let me know in the comments. Let everybody know in the comments. And until next time, it's my hope that you all have a good day. Bye now.